Hello everyone, this is Darvesh Khan, subject specialist English. After teaching all types of grammar, I am here to discuss about a very nice topic that is called constituent structure. What do we mean by constituent structure and how can we define constituent structure? Constituent structure is such a topic which is extremely necessary for each and every student of grammar who wants to learn constituent structure. Constituent structure is very, very, very necessary for a student before learning about a sentence. When I say what is constituent structure, so in the very beginning I say that the study of the structure of a sentence is called syntax. But when we study about the parts of a sentence, when we study about the components of a sentence, these components are called constituents in English. Then the structure that we draw from a sentence and when we deconstruct the sentence into its components, into its parts, into its constituents, then that is called constituent structure. Now the word constituent means components, it means parts, but here come constituent is used as an adjective for the word structure. Now, for example, I would simply say that it is divided into two different categories, but let me simply explain one of them. The very first one is syntax. Then how should we draw that very syntax in a sentence? For example, if there is a sentence, that sentence must contain subject plus predicate. And then we are concerned with subject, then what is there in the subject? There is a noun phrase. If there is a noun phrase, what is there in the noun phrase? We commonly know that in the noun phrase, either we have a determiner or we have a noun as head of the phrase. Then in predicate, we have a verb phrase and then in verb phrase we are mainly concerned with verb as header while noun phrase, prepositional phrase or any else phrase, even adjective phrase or adverb phrase, these phrases they are mainly used as uh, in verb phrase as dependence. So what I am concerned with to draw such kind of structure in a sentence to deconstruct a sentence into its parts is called constituent structure. Dear fellows, we should understand one point very well that constituent structure is also, when we draw the constituent structure of a sentence, it is also called parsing. Parsing is a word that means to draw, to deconstruct a sentence into its parts. For example, let me deconstruct a sentence with you people. When I say there is a sentence and that sentence is I say Darvesh teaches English in his class. Now it is a very simple question that who teaches English? Darvesh. Darvesh teaches English in his class. What does he do? He teaches. What does he teach? He teaches English. Where does he teach in his class? These are some questions about it. But we understand that it is a sentence and in the sentence Darvesh is subject and teaches English is called predicate. Now drawing it like this, that Darvesh is a noun, but it is just a word, it means it is used as head. Then it is called a noun phrase. But when I say about predicate, it is very clear to you that this predicate starts with a verb. And when a predicate starts with a verb, it means that the verb is used as head. If it is used as, as head, then it is called verb phrase. This verb phrase is further divided into two phrases. That there is verb as head. And what is that verb? That is teaches. And then English in his class. It's a noun phrase because here English in his class it is entailed 
मतलब the the very uh, the very uh, phrase is entailed by English. English is a noun. It means that this is a noun phrase because noun is head. Noun is head. And prepositional phrase is dependent, which is called in his class. But rather, we also call it adverbial phrase because there is a kind of location. Then in is a preposition. That preposition plays the role of head, while his class is actually called a noun phrase, which plays the role of dependent. And then his is actually an adjective form, which means it's a possessive adjective. Rather, we also call it a determiner. Or we also call it an adjective phrase. So this is something that we have just sketched out a sentence into its constituents or parts. Now let me draw the syntactic structure of it. Look, it's very simple. I hope so. This is something which is very clear to you. When I say to draw the syntax of it, I would simply say that the very first, what is this? It's a sentence. All right, and what is there in the sentence? There is subject plus predicate. And when I say about subject plus predicate, the first part is subject. What is there in the subject? There is a noun phrase. And what is there in a noun phrase? That's a noun. When I say about predicate, in predicate, we have a verb phrase. It's clear to us. Then in verb phrase, we have a verb plus noun phrase. Then in noun phrase, we have a noun plus a prepositional phrase, yeah, adverbial phrase. Then in a prepositional phrase, we have a preposition, means as particle or as a preposition, and then we have a noun phrase. Then in noun phrase, we have an adjective and we have a noun. This structure that we have drawn here, this is called the syntactical form of the structure. So we know very well that these are various parts that we have already deconstructed in this sentence. Now, drawing it on the lexical part, it should be very clear to us that the lexical part is like this. Let me say, it is also called terminal vocabulary when we explain it. But anyhow, we are not here to define at the end of the sentence, but rather we are sketching from here. The lexical part of it is this, that the wish is actually a noun, teaches is a verb, English is a noun, in is preposition, his is possessive adjective, and class is is a noun. These are called, actually they come under the category of lexicon or the lexical structure form. So we have understood this thing that Constituent structure, the understanding of constituent structure is quite essential for each and every learner of grammar because he should know about the deconstruction of a sentence into its constituents or into its components or parts. I hope so. This video is much essential for you and much beneficial for you. Please watch my channel, like it and do understand things. If you do not understand, then do comment us that we should try our best to clear it, the same problem to you in the very next video. Thank you all. Thank you.